you were in New York for a while, mm -hmm. and you you uh, d did a couple of soaps, and then you moved out to California. Uh, mm -hmm. What was the experience like when you met Diane and Candace for the first time auditioning for Murphy Brown? Oh my gosh, I was literally, uh, it was a monsoon basically in uh, the Valley <laughs> Burbank Studios when I had my, I think it was my fourth or fifth callback and it was to meet Candace and I thought, I went and bought a, a, a silk suit, an Ellen Tracy <laughs> silk suit on my credit card. And I thought, I hope I get this part because I really can't afford this suit. But I wanted to have really nice shoes. I got a new pair of shoes, a pair of Nina pumps. And I just thought I looked special. <laughs> and uh, as I got out of my Turismo, which was my car, Plymouth Turismo, and he was walking across, I think it was Magnolia Boulevard or something. Not Magnolia. It was Olive, where it swings yeah, there. Right. And you know where the offices were, where that corner, you know, bungalow, you know, they took up that whole. And I remember I was going in there and they had Candace ready. And, I, and all of a sudden it was as if we had these kind of rains in Louisiana, but I had never had them in California, but the sky fell out. And I, and all of a sudden it was like a, a, a river, <laughs> you know, there was a river running, you know, all, down all that. I was like, I don't know what else to do. And so I did the whole Louisiana thing. I just walked right through it. I was like, I'm not afraid of rain. But by the time I got into <laughs> the audition, I was, I was, my silk suit was blue, but it turned this dark, it was this pretty, like, blue, like this blue, you know, this, like, royal blue and everything. It turned this blue. It was, like, dark. Right. And it was just at the top. And my hair was... It was wavy. Remember I told you that I had, ugh. and it just became, <laughs> I was like rat hair just hanging down. I was like, I've got to do something. And I found this bow barrette that I was using and I found it in my purse and I put my hair back in this bow to try to help it. And I just walked in and I, the first thing I said, to, and my, my shoes were actually making a sound from the, <laughs> <silver chair. laughs> in them, it was like, oh. and I walked in, and Candace looked gorgeous, you know, naturally gorgeous. Her hair, you know, just swept and her nice horn rim glasses and just everything that you can imagine Candace being in those C ads. And it was my the most horrible first impression I could have ever made. I walked in and I just didn't know what to say. I said, Oh my gosh, you're so beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> I said, I'm I'm so sorry. Uh, I got caught in the rain outside, so but I just used it, and that, that actually, she started laughing immediately, and I think possibly you would have to ask her what she thought of me. But maybe maybe it made, it just, I had no attitude. I, I had zero, I just, it humbled me completely. Yeah, but, so. no, but knowing Candace, as we both do, yes, that was probably attractive to her. She, you, you were just very down to earth, and she's very mm -hmm. down to earth, and it, it, it probably put you in a good light for sure well it became the earth connection from that point forward i mean i could you know you, you have these ideas that you're going to be cool and you're going to be you're going to come in and present and you know all of that mm -mm. no it's much better with comedy to just be real and go with whatever you have at the moment and and that took that just completely uh disarmed me i had zero uh you know, I just sort of expectations went by and I just was there real in the moment. We did our reading and I said, it's up to the, you know, the big man upstairs was is what happens at this point. But evidently it went well and I went back quite a few more times. Back